Hello everybody, my name's Alphamish, and today I'm here with another episode of Skylar's Blast Castle. Okay, so if you don't know what that is, it's basically a little podcast series that I started last week with Prime Skylanders and a special guest star. And for this week, we actually have our special guest star as United Skylanders America. Last week, we had a uh, good old Portal Master 9351. So go check out, um, actually, you know, what am I saying? So, um, United Skylanders, would you like to say hello? Sure. Uh, what is guys, it is me, United Skylanders America. But uh, no, thank you guys for, like, having me on this. Like, I really appreciate it. Oh, no problem. Thanks for joining us. All right, so for uh, uh, this uh, month's episode video, guys, or whatever what you guys ever want to say, we are going to be talking about figures. Now, basically, we're going to be talking about how they uh, stepped up their game this year um, for figures, um, that there's only going to be, uh, I think, 33, 32 of them or something like that, um, and none of them are reposes, um, and two of them are actually guest stars. So, Alpha, what do you think about some of the figures that we've already been seeing and revealed to us? Well, the figures this year I really love much more than, like, all the other years. So I'm kind of looking forward to how they're going to plan this all out. So, yeah. And United Um, Skylanders, anybody have any opinions? Yeah, I'll go ahead. Uh, So, I mean, the figures look very nice. Like, a a, a huge step up from Superchargers. Like, the Superchargers toys weren't horrible, but I really, really like the new ones for Imaginators. And, I mean, they really remind me of, like, I don't know, like, they definitely remind me of uh, Trap Team, because those ones, I, I, I just feel like they were really nicely painted. The paint job's were really nice. The, uh, I don't know, the molds were really nice. I just really liked those. Um, so, yeah, they remind me of some older, uh, good games that I really liked the characters. I, I, I really like the looks of the characters this year. Yeah, I agree. Most of them that I've so. seen, I am very happy with. Um, I think there's only one that I've seen that I'm not happy with, and I think that's uh, Barbella. Other than that, though, I'm excited to get the other ones. Um, and I really feel like, um, like um, I think it was Lou who said, they tried to really go for exaggerated poses. So they're not just simple, you know, feet on base. They try to really go where the character was, like, in movement, um, <laughs> which is that is something that I really did enjoy. Um, and I feel like they really did capture um, and I feel like they're doing a lot of different things from different games for these characters that um, is really going to make the characters really good. Um, so people are going to want to buy the characters and also make their own characters. Yeah, the mm-hmm. figures this year, though, like, I'm still curious about about how big they're going to be. Like, if they're going to be, like, giant size, if they're going to be, like, core size. I'm really so curious to know. By what we've seen yeah, on I, well, Portal, if we... If you, yeah, go ahead. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. No, um, I think, like, oh, okay. Uh, no, but, like, I think the size, like, I think the size looks, like, pretty, pretty, like, close to, uh, Swap Force or, uh, maybe Trap Masters, because I don't think, I mean, Giants are still, like, the biggest, but here's the thing. The, 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 um, what do I want to say? You know, the gimmick characters for each game, they're, like, they're still bigger than, like, regular cores from Spire's Adventure or, you know, Core Landers. Like, I don't know, the the um, gimmick characters are always about, like, maybe a half an inch, like, under the, like, uh, smaller than, like, you know, Giants. Yeah, well, so, mm-hmm. yeah, so, so basically, I'm, okay, okay, do you want to go off? <laughs> um, yeah, but what I was going <laughs> to say was, like, every year that Toys for Bob takes over, like, whenever they have a gimmick character... They're usually much taller than the Vicarious Visions here, as, for example, the Swappers to Giants and Trap Masters, they're always much taller than the Swappers and Superchargers. Yeah, I agree. And then one thing I also do like, size comparison, you're talking about you spent $15 for vehicles. You're talking about the characters are probably going to be way bigger than the vehicles, obviously. Um, The base alone will probably be... I feel like the base alone will probably be the width of some of the land vehicles, um, I'm kind of thinking of, what is it called, the Barrel Blaster. I think some of the bases might be, like, lengthwise, point to point, would probably be somewhere roughly that size, I honestly think. Because uh, when you put it on a Swap Force portal, uh, uh, the vehicle, it looks kind of how we've been seeing images of the new Senseis. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Um, so, um, I know for I me... I think... Go ahead. Go, go ahead, oh, okay. Um, yeah, no, uh, I think the like characters are going to be not as big as giants but trap team swap force giants uh those they're all like basically the same i don't know how like you can call giants bigger than 
you know, cores. So I do know they are definitely bigger than cores, but <laughs> yeah. um, the gimmick characters they're really upping it. Um, I was gonna. Say no, I mean, oh, I mean, I uh, so mean. Basically, um, I know giants are like <coughs> they're the Wait. biggest. Yeah. But I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, it's okay. Go ahead and fin- go ahead and finish what you're saying. Well, giants are like the biggest, but the uh, swappers and trap masters they're. They're, like, really, really close up there. I mean, I didn't say anything about cores being, like, big. I said that they're, like, really close up there. The Giants, I mean, they're always going to be the biggest, especially Ninjini, you know. But, uh, like, let's say, like, Thumpback, Eyebrawl, Eyebrawl, like, those guys, their uh, Wallop is, like, just as big as them, so I don't know. Yeah, the smaller, kind of wider ones. But I know definitely we, I think we all have, like, our favorite picked out. So for me, I honestly think my favorite that we've all seen is definitely going to be Starcast. Um, um, I already know. I'm pretty sure Alpha. I think your favorite is favorite is Ambush, right? Yes, and my second favorite, if you weren't to say Ambush, would definitely be Starcast. So just mm-hmm. in case anyone was wondering. And then Jordan, you have a favorite, uh, one that you picked out already? Yeah, Ember, Kingpin, probably both of those. Hmm. So. I really feel I don't really know I I really really just like the design um but I know something that I've get got get a lot of comments about is the base um do you guys really like the base uh this year cuz or like the size of it cuz I know a lot of people are saying the characters are actually kind of smaller than the whole base itself and the base is what's going to take up all the space on shelving and stuff not the figure itself Well the thing is to me the bases they just seem so like uncreative it just looks like a block or a platform thing unlike all the previous years where it's kind of like they had a certain design like earth elements had like rocks and diamonds while magic elements had the magic little things on them and tech had gears etc mm-hmm. i don't know i still think yeah, I... it looks like yeah i still think it looks like decent but i mean it doesn't it's not like you said it's not unique like the past games i guess but it's it's still pretty decent looking it's not like i mean i i don't want to say like trash any other games but like amiibo like it's like the same exact base for each thing you know uh, i honestly personally kind of like it because for the very first four years that's a long time we had the exact same base so the fact to mix it up a little bit in superchargers was really cool um and then now to change it up in imaginators which i'm okay with because these are meant to be the best warriors of that battle class so i'm okay with that but I feel like next year's game, if it's not really a big gimmick around the characters, it's like a big gimmick in game. I really think they should go back then to the normal bases, um, and not try to exaggerate the bases really any. I really think. Well, honestly, to me this year, I believe that it's kind of more of an in-game kind of deal when it comes to gimmick. I, I do see what you mean, but I mean like, um, but this is something really cool about the figures though which we haven't really focused on figures really since Swap Force. The other two gimmicks are buying extra stuff. This one's kind of like buying stuff, designing your own characters, and then, you know, the senseis, you know, that that do tie along with the gimmick because raising level caps and unlocking special abilities for the gimmick, basically. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, um, So, anything you would like to add, Jordan, about kind of um, stuff? Yeah, sure, I'll go. Uh, But, um... I think the like yeah like you said the game the gimmick is in game but you know the creation crystals they uh, are out of game they give it like a they give it a not a trap team feel I almost want to say trap team but they want they kind of give it a feel for like different types of like you know vehicles like vehicles were a different type of figure that you actually put on the portal you know traps I guess yeah traps were so and magic items but like they're the exact they're still characters. But it's like you make them. It's really, it's kind of a weird concept. But you know, that's imaginators. Yeah. Yeah. So Jordan, uh, I agree with your point. So, and something I also wanted to add is what I really do enjoy is the sensei belts. Um, kind of like it's. I think Trap Masters were the very first thing that we ever had where they had a, like a special logo devoted to that special class. <laughs> and kind of superchargers kind of had. All the superchargers were on a specific base devoted to them. So, I don't know. I feel like that's really cool about the senseis. They're going to have the gold belts. So, people are going to know, okay, these. this is the class that goes together. Same thing kind of with the swap force. Well, not really swap force. They had just the logos at the bottom. 
But I really kind of just like that. Um, what do you think about that kind of alpha, um, them kind of having that sharing trait of each other? Well, wait, what exactly do you mean? Because you, I think you said that um, the gold belt determines their class, or was no, 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 I, no. I'm saying the yeah. gold belt's like, uh, it's like a like a logo in a way. Because you know, like the trap masters, they had the T kind of all over all the characters, so everyone know. Oh, the trap masters, you know. They kind of have like a like a logo representing them, you know, the T, you know, for Trap Masters. It, it was something cool. And then now all the senseis have that because all the senseis are going to have a gold belt, basically. Yeah, now I get what you mean. Um, so, um, yeah. So what exactly am I supposed to... Oh, I'm, I'm asking, like, what are your thoughts on that? Like, they did the gold belt theme, so they're all the exact... So they're all kind of tied together as the same. Well, I think it's honestly pretty cool. So, like, in the future, if you didn't really know what this was... You could just kind of look at the figures and notice that there's something similar in each one. Kind of same with the Trap Masters, like you just said. And, um, yeah, so it's pretty nice. Uh, Jordan, what do you think about the gold belts and that kind of stuff, the logo of all them kind of tying together and stuff? Um, well, I know the, the gold belts are definitely, like you said, very, like, uh, they're really helpful when it comes to, uh, recognizing that they're, um, imaginators, because, or not imaginators, you know, I'm in mean, senseis, senseis, um, but, no, because, like, yeah, trap masters, uh, I actually don't recall the T, what are you, uh, talking about for, like, the T? Uh, it was on different characters, like, um, I know the T was on, like, Snapchat, Snapchat's chest, it was on Wildfire's it was, arm, it was, it was just on every places. trap master. Mm -hmm. it's just in different places on them. Yeah, like if you were to oh, get Jawbreaker really to look on his back and see that. Oh. Yeah. yeah. I guess I just didn't really know All that. Right. But, um, so, something I about guess the. the uh, go ahead. Oh. Uh, I don't know. This I, I was changing the subject. I was basically talking about. It goes with the figure design. Um, like, I get a lot of questions kind of asking about this. Like, um, basically, you guys, if you guys know, for the past couple of years, we've had uh, the Thrillipede issue, we've had the Blackout Spotlight issue. Uh, I think Sparrow's Adventures, we had a Wham Shell issue. I'm, I never found it, but I don't know if it was really that big of a deal as it is now. Um, people are kind of asking, you know, which one do you think will be the next kind of like Thrill Peed in a way? Because the design are so good this year, it's kind of hard to pick, except for like villains, because most of us are thinking it's probably going to be the best villain will be last, but um, I don't know if you guys have a certain one picked out that will be the last one. I had a theory that it could have been Pain Yada, but apparently he's actually coming out in Wave 3. That what's kind of speculating going around. Yeah, I'm kind of predicting that Pit Boss will be the um the one that's releasing last. Like, if it weren't a villain, it would definitely be Pit Boss, in my honest opinion. Or it could be like a villain, like um, let me think, who is there? Um, just I guess a villain. Maybe like Blastertron, kind of. I can honestly see Blastertron maybe be one of the last ones. Uh, you know, you got any? takes on what character might be the next hardest one to find yeah blaster tron no okay so <laughs> i know a lot of people are disappointed you know blaster tron's like the light villain but i personally am very excited for blaster tron because you know uh he was actually my favorite surprisingly my favorite light villain in trap team so um i think he's actually a better choice over luminous personally um i know there's a lot of luminous fans out there probably watching luminous 35 um uh, don't mean to call you out, but, you know, like, I know you're definitely, like, there's a lot of Luminous fans out there, and they're disappointed in, um, Blastertron, but, like, I really am excited for him, and, and, and I really hope we get some gameplay, I can't wait to see the figure for him, it'll be sick. Yeah, so, um, what do you guys, about the villains, because some villains we've seen, um, Golden Queen's kind of color, then there's kind of Wolfgang's kind of design, um, Blastertron is probably going to be a knight, Trumpy Mage as a bazooker. What are you guys kind of thinking about how they handled the figures, um, villain-wise? Uh, because some look exactly the same, but then you also get people like Tycoon Crow, who looks the same but completely changed the weapons. So how do you guys kind of like how they handled them changing bits and bits like that of the characters, of the villains, uh, and specifically? Well, let me think. Uh, which ones did they switch? I know that they changed, like, Hoodsicle, but, like, the majority of the characters that they changed, I really love how they changed it, because, like, 
let's say, like I said, Hoodsicle. Um, I really love how they have a double-sided scythe now instead of just that one-sided deal, so it's much more creative. And then we also have that Wolfgang. Instead of having the music-playing harp, we have the bow and arrow harp. So, I mean, it's very cool. I just really like the creativity and just all the stuff they're showing this year. So, I mean, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, yeah, I totally agree with Alpha, because uh, United- I, total- I, like, just, I mean... The Wolfgang, first of all, uh, I did like the harp, of course, but the bow and arrow just looks sick, and his gameplay looks just amazing. Uh, who else? Uh, was it Chompy Mage? You said he's probably gonna be a knight. Um, no, I'm, I, uh, I'm, I'm totally down with, I'm totally down with these changes, you know. All right. Um, anything else you guys would really like to add about the figures and stuff? Um. I know I've covered a lot of things that I had that I really wanted to cover, address, um, because I really think they just really stepped up the game this year, and um, I'm really just excited to actually finally get the characters in hand and hopefully get to see um, Wave 1 listing so we can actually see HD photos of the packaging and the characters, you know, in the packaging and stuff like that. Uh, well, what about the, um, like, clear see-through Barbello? Was there anything about that? Is that going to be, like, well, confirmed see-through, or...? I, it, it is kind of confirmed see-through, because, uh, Family Gamer showed it, um, of her... Yeah, but it could have just been, like, a chase variant, is what I'm thinking, but it could be just see-through, because, like, by the art, you can kind of see it looks much more harder, like, mm-hmm. it looks more edgy, kind of. Mm-hmm. It looks more like, um, crystals. Yeah. So, I think the, I uh, think the, uh, uh, like, the crystal Barbella, well, the see-through Barbella looks, uh, pretty cool. And I think the, uh, like, any transparent characters, like, it depends, like, I don't know. I mean, if they made, like, something stupid, like, so let's say, who would be stupid to make? Um, Ember, like, Ember would be really stupid, except for her Sentinel, to, like, have, like, see-through parts, I don't know. But unless they, like, unless they just screwed up something, just put something completely random, which I guess they have kind of done in the past, but, like, I just doubt that they would. Like, we got, like, they're really good team of, um, designers, in, like, in Skylanders, so. And I'm really, really hyped for the figure designs. I just, I am really have confidence with this game. It, the, the figures are gonna look the best. Like, I, I have to say that right now. I, I agree. I think, really, for character design... Uh, this is probably going to be one of the best character design games out of all of them. Uh, uniqueness, definitely high up there. There's a lot of things we've not seen before. Um, there's some things that we've been wanting to see, and we're kind of getting that this year. Um, kind of like um, Mysticat. Um, four-legged characters, we've only had one of those before. We're getting more of those. Uh, um, wait, actually, it's... Oh, six, Scratch? Seven. Was it Scratch? Oh, well, it's four legs, and then it has two paws. Or it's kind of yeah. like the half centaur type creature type thing. However, that works out. Yeah, I guess it's. Symmetar, what was it Scratch that had it's more four? Of a cat. And a... No, no, it was Nightmare. Yeah. Oh yeah. From Trap right. Team. Um, and then I've also we've also getting characters like a two in one character, um, where it's uh, what's his name? What's his name? Airstrike. Where it's you know you're getting two characters basically. Um, we've had only a few of those. Um, and then. Uh, and then one of my, like I said, my personal favorite, Starcast, because I love the multi-arm characters, and then for characters who like characters with more legs, or even getting crank case with five legs, so definitely mixing up a bunch of variety in this game, character design-wise, so it's not straight up two legs, two arms, and then a weapon, it's mixing it up, trying to see what they can do, uh, with all these different kind of character, uh, possibilities. Yeah, I can't really think of anything else to say, so... Uh, United, you got any final thoughts um, on character design? Uh, it's going to be lit this year. It's going to be lit. All right, guys. So uh, thank you guys all for tuning in for episode two of Blast. Guys, if you guys did enjoy this, make sure to show a lot of love in the chat below uh, with the like button. Definitely go check out Alpha's video. Uh, United Skylar is going to have his own. Um, I'm pretty sure we're all going to have different game and stuff. So you guys can go check out all the perspectives. You guys can let us know which one you like better. Um, but definitely, guys, if we get a lot of love and support, we'll actually have another episode, episode three. If you guys want to uh, comment down below what topics you want, go ahead and do that. And if you guys even want to request a special guest, you guys can go ahead and do that. And then we maybe might be able uh, to make that work out for episode three. But I want to give a huge thanks for United 
uh, for joining us on the stream. Uh, what did I just say? Stream black podcast. Um, but like we always say, don't forget to keep it premium, guys. Um, Twitter, Instagram, links down below. And yeah, I'll see you guys back for another blast cast. So. Um, yeah, no. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, we'll see you guys on the next video again. Thank you guys for letting me on, like, to, letting me on the uh, episode two. Uh, make sure you guys like and subscribe, and don't forget to peace out.